Good evening guys, this is Dr. Paul once again. Thanks for visiting our channel this evening. As usual, we discuss on this channel most important points that you need to remember in order to take USMLE examination. This morning I want to talk a few minutes about meta-analysis. You see, biostatistics is just a mind-boggling subject, but by studying in a clear fashion, you can actually score high on biostatistics. So let us uh, deal with meta-analysis. Now, from the word itself, you can derive its meaning. Meta-high analysis is just analyzing things. So analyzing things from a higher point of view, that is the basic meaning of this word. So what you basically do in meta-analysis is you take different trials, whether they are randomized trials or controlled trials or experimental trials. You take different trials and you derive the results of all of them and statistically you come to a conclusion. So it's basically if there are some 12 trials on the uses of aspirin in the prevention of cardiovascular disease. You take those 12 trials and you come to a conclusion. Is uh, aspirin useful? How much is useful? And you try to quantify the results from those observations. So that is basically the meta-analysis. So it's like uh, bringing different kinds of articles on a topic and making some summary with quantitative results that is meta-analysis and it is useful in clinical practice in so many ways for example you want to see the effect of uh, central venous catheters on the infection now some trials used some central venous catheters with antiseptic and central venous catheters without an antiseptic. They used these two on the patients and they studied the effect of antiseptic on the central venous catheter in preventing the infection in the patient. And uh, for example, there are 15 trials on this. Now you have to come to a conclusion. Is antiseptic impregnated central venous catheter? Is it useful to prevent the infection? Now from those 15 trials, you make your own statistically quantitative analysis. You take those samples, you measure those samples, you compare those samples and you come to the conclusion. And the conclusion, if it proves that antiseptic associated CVPs are able to prevent the infection. You say this meta-analysis proves that antiseptic on a central venous catheter is good to prevent the infection. So meta-analysis is very useful whether you use uh, randomized trials or experimental trials. It is a very useful method but you can always report your results separately. I mean, if you do it like a observational study, you should report it separately. And if you do an experimental study, you should report it separately. So meta-analysis is uh, very, very important as you take USMLE examination and uh, uh, that's basically coming to an overview of trials made on that particular topic. If you have any questions, please post us on our blog and visit us at www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. Thank you. This is Dr. Paul.